Well, welcome back to the good old Southern Idaho. One of the secrets to a long, prosperous life is to always start out your morning with a little bit of planter yoga. Plus, well, I gotta get out here and get my three-point hitch where I want it to be. Yeah, it's pretty close. Oh, this thing's backwards. So planting season continues here. Mother Nature has yet to figure out that, uh, hey, we're trying to grow a crop of corn. Let's get warm. Last night, I got actually down below freezing. It's still cold out, man. It is still cold. So we've got to uh, import a couple of prescriptions here. It'll change the population as we go across the field. Uh, we keep things kind of simple here. There's your prescription. Darker blues where we're going to have more seed. Lighter blues, we're going to have less seed. Other than that, we're going to prime this gal up. We've got 33 acres to plant here, and we won't make it the entire way. But we've got some really big seed in the pot planter right now, so we need to actually get it out before we put the next hybrid in, which then we plant the little bit that we have left, and then we put another hybrid in uh, to move into one of my dad's fields that's got like half till Andrew's out there tilling. But it, it, it's going to be a fun time. Morning. So I got good news for everybody. Figured out a name there for the little guy. Thanks in the comments, there was a lot of suggestions, a lot of good ones. If I ever have a child, heaven help me, because I'm not good at picking out names. But there's one comment that said, I think I'd have to look who it was, but the guy said he named his bulls after the planets, which I like that, except I don't like planet names. So I put my own spin on it. I'm gonna go name my calves, bulls, after presidents. So. There's George, a.k.a. Georgie, a.k.a. Curious George. It works. It sticks. I came pretty close on a couple other names, even tried them for a couple days, and just didn't fit. So say hello to George, everybody, and lady. She's eating her breakfast. Anyway, thanks for all the help. You want to know something kind of illogical? I get nervous driving around in cities. But yet, here we got a 60 plus foot wide planter, 60 foot of actual planting with, and uh, <laughs> I can squeeze this thing. We're actually rubbing on the fence there. In between there. My tightest point is the inlet and the fence. And just so you know, there's row 24, which then the planter hangs out here. So row 24 is right at the edge. And here's row one. Kind of tight, huh? Yeah, so that'd be 60 feet. And then we also got like an extra foot and a half. Now this planter is probably like 64-ish feet wide. Oh, look, a treasure. Odd-looking flower. So these planting conditions, other than it being cold, uh, are some of my favorite. You know, this ground's been tilled for uh, about a week now. Stay there. So it's mellowed back out, and it's caught a couple of rains. So the top of it's a little bit crusty, but very crumbly. So, and then you got moisture right underneath. I mean, awesome planting conditions. If that soil was 60 degrees or something along those lines, we got some warm days coming, boom. Talk about just perfect emergence, but it's, it's cool. Oh, time to get out and stretch your legs a little bit. Oh, man. That's really why I stopped. But uh, that needs to go over there. Thought I'd show you the APS system. Andrew positioning since oh, words are hard. It's also known as the Armstrong. No monitor. 
actually like running it without the monitor because the monitor is like in your face like that you can't see out there no problem i like to drive and uh really none of our fields are so big that and square it's a big deal to do a little hand steering and since we're changing a hybrid in the middle of the field i usually take that as an opportunity to put it in little plots uh, don't really have to do anything special with them like we just went from 113 day to 111 day hybrid so i put my flags in here one two and then two and you don't even have to put flags in uh, a lot of the times i don't but this is kind of close here so we can look at it and all that is is just for visually if we want to come out here real quick and look at it um, you can see it but i just changed the names in the monitor to something like 111 day test and then like 113 day test and then when you go to harvest it here the monitor will flip the hybrids when you got your harvest file in there and then when you're done you can just look at the report and it'll say hey 111 day did this and the 113 day did that and you can kind of see what the plant structure is quick easy test like that didn't really have to do anything you know out of the way to kind of learn something just change the hybrid change the name in the monitor and you got yourself a little plot obviously we're tracking the hybrids in here right now uh, but what you don't want to do is uh, like consider the end rows the same part of the field if that makes sense so there's your red yellow I guess I'm doing two test strips here dang it should have switched the hybrid I might have just messed up my test strip a little bit it'll still be close so I'm done with the first 33 acres or 30-ish acres and uh, we got to go get some seed. Andrew's out here tilling. dust is flying and the ground's working darn nice so let's get us some seed square this around a little bit i think we're going to take these boxes off here because then we can put them right back on here
puts a little bit of a damper on these plans. Time to uh, pause and let her be for a while. We got a little bit of sprinkles last night. I really even wouldn't call it rain. It wasn't pretty much non-measurable. So I haven't made it to the farm where I was planting yesterday to see if we could get in there a little later today. I do know that it's not good to get a chilly sprinkle on your corn that quickly after it's been planted. So I'm looking for a couple of oddball jobs that we gotta get done, which one of them includes starting up that gal right there. So I'm slowly placing the 8630 together. KPM2's in here, full box is in here. Still gotta get all the wires ran. But this gal's kinda dirty in here. Then I also need this air conditioner charged. So Colt might have some downtime here in the next couple of days when I'm planting. You could probably give this girl a little bit of a power wash and get the cab kinda cleaned up. Check that off the to-do list. We just had an issue. I'm pretty sure I just chucked the fan belt. Yep. <sighs> yep. No fan belt. That looks like fun. So Colt's been working on getting the 8630 and the 6430 cleaned up the 8630 for its date uh we're gonna put some technology in this gal real fast and probably go get it hooked up to the 3600 there's a chance that we change out the monitor in here there's something that i might be considering doing uh, if i do it i'll let you guys know but probably going to be putting an integra in there an older steering system in there um which will be Running the 8630 and the 3600. It sounds like Belzers is on their way, or the Belzers might even actually be there. They're going to be getting that the fan belt worked on that, and maybe they can figure out the arm rest fault deal, so the three point arms would work. That'd be great. Um, but we're going to get this in here and probably get it hooked up, and then back to planting. Yeah, let's see if these guys are the right size. But Belzers got us up and going pretty quick again, didn't they? You decided you want to come plant some corn, didn't you? You decided you were corn planting dog the rest of the day? Because Wayne was going. What, are we growing these things in the field now? Well, we're on some productive soil right here. Well, for our area, a uh, couple years ago, actually the first year I got the Soil Max tile plow, uh, pattern tiled uh, the flat back there behind me, and then this flat right here for Dad. And the year we put, the next year we put corn onto it, and grew some crazy good corn. So Dad's got the fertility right, pH right, and uh, drainage right. So kind of excited to grow corn here on this flat. And then in true Southern Iowa fashion. You get right off the pattern tiled flat and you fall off into an abyss. <laughs> I'm not out of diesel fuel, but I'm not overly full. But I am out of seed. Had a neighbor come through, found me a well, four 16 inch six bolt rims. So might be able to go collect Molly's treasure here in the next rain day. Out of flight! Out! Oh. Well, we're back to a man. What's it called? A man. And his 
dog and some seed. And actually, I gotta be careful. Text this thing out that way. I don't know. I'm just driving straight. Into the driving around looking for it. Come on, bud. gonna trip over it? Hi. Hey. Come on, right? You don't care, do you? It must not have any smell, does it? Oh, maybe pick it up. It's mine now. And a dog tree. So I think that's where we're going to end this video. We'll pick back up with you guys tomorrow. I'm going to plan another until I get done. We'll see you guys in the morning. Videos. I could have used GPS then. I was trying to get a cool shot for you and I wiggled. Junk. <laughs>